Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this puzzle is called Ah by Philip Newman. <laughs> um, this was the gas puzzle from October 21st, 2024. It is a Kropke pair Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So digits appear once each in each row, each column, and each 3x3 three three region. There are also some black and white dots on the grid. Digits that are separated by a white dot are consecutive, meaning one of them is exactly one bigger or smaller than the other. And digits separated by a black dot are in a 1 to 2 ratio, meaning one of them is exactly double the other. So let's pencil in some of those first. So we have a bunch of 3s, and the only number that could go in a 1 to 2 ratio with 3 is going to be 6. The only number that can go in a 1 to 2 ratio with 1 will be 2. The only number consecutive with 9 in Sudoku must be 8. We can't go bigger because we can't go up to 10. 7 is consecutive with 6 and 8, but because there's a 6 in the region already, that will have to be an 8. And that leaves us with the digits 2, 4, and 5 to fill in these three remaining spots. This cell also has to be 6 or 8, but there is a 6 here. And this one we can pencil in as either 6 or 8. Now, we have two 3s here and here. The only position for a 3 in this region is there. That gives us a 6, which resolves that 6-8 ambiguity. This cell cannot contain a 6 or an 8, so this is either a 1-2 pair or a 2-4 pair. Those are the only remaining 1-2 to two ratios. However, this cell can't be a 1 or a 2, so that's a 4, making this a 2. The 2 and 4 in this row make this a 5, and the 2 in this row makes this a 4, and this is now a 2. 2 goes with either 1 or 4. 4 goes with either 3 or 5, so there is going to be a 5 there. Now to finish this row, I need 1, 7, 8, and 9. This can't be an 8. There can't be a 1 on this dot, because 1 isn't consecutive with either of those numbers. So there is an 8 there, because it's either 7 and 8, or 8 and 9. And the 8 can't go in this position, because there's already an 8 in column 2. Therefore, the 8 goes in column 3, right there. In this row, I need a 3, a 6, and a 7, and I can't resolve those yet. Right here, though, I need another 1 to 2 ratio pair. I can't use a 2, I can't use a 4, I can't use an 8. The only remaining possibility is 3 and 6, placing 7 there, making this an unresolved, so far, 1, 9 pair. Now, let's consider this row in the middle. So I need 1, 4, 5, and 9. Now, which of these pairs are consecutive? 9 doesn't go with 3, 6, or 7. 1 doesn't go with 3, 6, or 7, but we could have 4 going with a 3, or 5 going with a 6. And of course, we're going to eliminate the 7 because we've already used it here. Now let's look at the central columns. Here we need a 4, a 5, and a 9. 5 and 9 are not in a 1 to 2 ratio with any Sudoku digits, so that's definitely going to be a 4, which will go with either a 2 or an 8. Here, I've used 3, 6, I've used an 8 already, so this is either 1 and 2, or 2 and 4, and the 4 is not going to appear there. If I look at this central column, I need 1, 2, 5, and 7, so that's 1, 2, or 7. Ah, there's a 7 in this region already I'm noticing now, so there's not a 7 in any of these cells, so 7 in the column has to go right there. 7 goes with 6 or 8, there's a 6 in the column already, so that's an 8, and that resolves this into a 4, 2, making this a 1. Now this is going to be a 4-9 pair. 9 could only go with 8 if 9 was on this consecutive dot, but there's an 8 there already. So that's going to be a 4, and that is going to be a 9. 4 can only go with 5, because there's a 3 in the region. And that will be a 1-2 pair to finish. Now let's consider this black dot. We've used 2, so we can't do 1 and 2, or 2 and 4. We can't do 4 and 8, because we've used 8, so this must be a 3 and 6. And if we consider this black dot, we've used an 8, we've used a 3 and 6, so that's either a 1 and 2 or a 2 and 4, so we're going to eliminate 1 right there. <clears throat> now, this can't be a 9, because 9 would have to go with 8, and sure enough there's an 8 right below it, so that's a 5. Which can't go with a 6 due to the 6 there, so that's a 4. The 4 resolves the 1, 2 pair. The remaining cells in this column are going to be 5 and 9. And the remaining cells in this row are going to be 2 and 9. <clears throat> 
In this region, we need a 5, a 7, and an 8. This can't be an 8 by Sudoku. Ah, uh, that can't be a 9, and that also can't be a 9 by Sudoku. That makes this a 9, which resolves the 1-9 pair. Yeah, and this cannot be a 1. Now we need to place a 7 in one of these cells by Sudoku, because we have three 7s looking in. We have three 8s looking in. So we have to place an 8 in one of these cells. Actually, this can't be a 7, because 7 would have to go with either 6 or 8, but we have a 6 and an 8 in the column. So this is a 7. So 7 is going to go in one of these two cells. We have 5s here and here. 5 can't go there, so 5 would have to go in one of these two cells, but this 5, if it was there, would need to go with either 4 or 6. We've already used 4 and 6 in the column, so that's going to be a 5. And to finish this row, we need 1, 2, 4, and 9. That can't be 2 or 4. This can't be a 9, so that's definitely a 9, which goes with an 8. That's enough to place our 8. And this column is almost completed. We just need a 1 and a 5 to finish that column. To finish this row, we need a 4, a 7, and an 8. That's not going to be a 7. That's not going to be an 8. How about this very last clue that we haven't really addressed at all? So we need a pair of consecutive numbers. We can't use a 3, a 5, a 6, or an 8. <clears throat> what can we fit in between there? 1 and 2. Can't do 2 and 3. Can't do 3 and 4. Can't do 4 and 5. Can't do 5, 6. Can't do 6, 7. Can't do 7, 8. Can't do 8, 9. So it's got to be 1, 2. Making that a 4 and resolving all of this. These are going to be 3 and 6. Oh, I've got a 4 there. That makes this a 7 and takes care of a lot of this stuff for me. In these two cells, my last two cells in the region, I'm going to need an 8 and a 9, which resolve immediately. <clears throat> here I need a 2 in the row. has to go there. And here I'm going to need a 3, a 6, and a 4 right there. And hopefully everything I have left, yep, should just resolve via classic Sudoku. And that's it. That's how you solve Philip's incoherent screaming noises. I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. Um, if you want to give it a try yourself, the link to solve is in the description below this video. I will see you again in three days.